Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we are going to head to Bobcat Plus. We are going to get some grease for the breaker. I've been uh, watching a lot of videos on how to grease properly the breaker and I found some helpful videos. My son is right here, so if he starts talking, I'm sorry. So either way, we're gonna head to Bobcat Plus and we gotta grease it. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna forget no batteries, but if I do, then I forgot. But it's a lot of things I gotta get together first before I leave. And I am pretty sure we are going to be painting it. I've gotta just double, triple think about it. But oh, yeah. I'm pretty tired, yes, but I am pretty tired of looking at it all beat up. You know, I know it's a machine, it has to get beat up, but you know, to the point I wanna make it look decent. So I'll catch you guys over there at Bobcat Plus, and I'll see you guys in just a while. Also, I forgot, uh, we will be connecting this video with the other video. So it doesn't get too boring. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys. Adios. All right, so it's 12, 39, and we came to Bobcat Plus to see if they have some grease for breakers. If they don't, then I have to order online. Look at the uh, grease for like for a breaker, you know, the high pressure ones. Mm -hmm. Is this the one? Yeah, okay, and I'll take it. All right, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I was gonna use the, the farming fleet one, but I'm like, no, I don't know. It gets hot in there, you know. The air's down, so I can't get your receipt right now. I no, it's fine. Like no, it's fine. Okay. All right, thank you, man. All right, have a good one. Yeah, you too. So, uh, guys, we uh, pretty much got the greaser for the breaker, and got the breaker over there. Where the heck is it? I still remember it was right here. Uh, don't tell me I lost the serial number. Where the heck is it? I was uh, learning about the... So uh, what I was explaining before I said what I was going to say. Um, I want to put like a wall something here. Like, like a little oval. Just a thing, just to have search rebar, just to have it secure, you know. Just so it won't go like this, you know. So we will have just what it is, you know. Not a lot of slack hanging.
so we got the breaker. We're gonna try to get out of here right now. I know it's pretty dangerous. But we gotta make the effort. So we got the breaker literally all the way down. And stuff over here. Let's get the grease gun. Let's set it up. right there but I think is that it? Is that the, is that the only one guys? I think that's it. I think just that one right there. Yeah because we don't have one here we just uh, I think that's it. Yep guys I think that's just that one right there. But we got it all way down with pressure <laughs> gotta get the grease oh dude you gotta be freaking kidding me man <sighs> well we can eat we can uh, swear man please tell me there's a battery here man lord jesus I don't have a battery here, dude. That battery's done. I don't have my dually here. That's what I mean, man. I'm getting really, really frustrated. Oh, dude. Well, I guess we're gonna have to take the skid loader with my breaker over there. I'll just come back. Stupid, dude. Stupid, 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 stupid decision. Alright, Ryan came and saved the day. He gave me um, a battery charger so I could charge my battery. Luckily, he had Milwaukee. be back in about 40 minutes I'm just gonna have to just chill here I'm gonna have to sit here and just probably take this out so, I'll see you guys in 40 minutes all right so I guess we still have some grease from last time so we're gonna have to uh, get some grease out so we have to grease this thing up because you can see there's no grease like that no more and on the bottom I'm pretty sure I want to change and put fill some uh, hydraulic fluid so we got to get some hydraulic fluid so when we dump and we got enough right now we're going into it says 20 so that is pretty low at least have it at 40 and all that we have enough well, we have some um, we still gotta wait for the batteries but I just want to see since we still got some of the red um, grease might as well just use it for that one I mean, we already know that the power buggy is grease so it's been 40 minutes believe it or not this thing is fully charged BAM I was just a small battery, so it's gonna charge right away. Uh, let's put some grease in the power buggy. Hmm. Got it. Got to take some of the towels, cause okay, we got some grease coming out. Let's see if we could go get some hydraulic fluid later today. Go. 
leave it like that. Right now, doesn't have that much, so. She's almost empty, so. Almost empty. Not too empty, but almost. Oh, for real, almost empty. It was already empty, guys. Pop it up. If you have one of these, some of you guys know how to use it, some of you guys don't. And you just pop it up. Toss up cap. Taste it. I'm just playing, don't taste it. Uh, look at it. Okay. Uh huh. It's kind of dirty. Put it in there. Don't matter. I'm just playing. You guys got to clean it. <laughs> there you go. So put it in like that. All the way in. Boom. Now, all you got to do is rip this thing. Open. Oh, watch your fingers because it's pretty sharp. Just pretty much opened it. Ooh, and you just clean that. The stuff that is pretty much clean around it so everything's good. Make sure you have your lock there. Slide it in. And you just twist. Make sure it's tight. Put it back up in there. You're ready to go. That's it. We're ready to roll. Screech gun. Obviously, we're in a rag here. And uh, pretty much, that's all you gotta do now. All you gotta do is just tip, put it in there and <clears throat> grease it up. Test it out. Give it a little bit of uh, impact. Right there, we got some concrete over there. Could break over there. Now we can see how it how it actually functions. See if it actually works. No, that the concrete. This is. Some chunks of concrete. That's actually. I got some concrete here. Not too big, not too small. We're gonna try to see if it's gonna work. <sighs> gotta get it back in there. It's a tight squeeze. Well, I'm trying to get in there. Oh, it's a really tight squeeze. Oh, oh. I feel like the door's gonna kick my butt. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. You gotta clean your tips, so make sure that you must clean.
Okay? Guys, are you seeing this? Okay, so we have some grease in there. I think we still need a little bit more grease in there. So we're gonna have to grab it. I want that thing to grease. Pretty much, it's gonna thank us. Inside, they're gonna like dance and probably like, yes, we got grease. Yes, we got grease. <laughs> We're gonna get more grease and yeah so put it down again with pressure grease it up one more time. all right so we're gonna have to just do it three times this is the second time we're gonna try to break another thing whatever what we can just hit it and hit it one more time and then we'll be good that thing's already we gotta get some uh some hydraulic fluid so Gotta see what we need. Too big size, but a decent size. Whoa! Careful gear. Take this one. Yep. Let's take this one. <laughs> How to test out the breaker? I can feel concrete. it up one more time. Make sure we got a little bit. Of... Mm. Slip some grease in there. is happy 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 see it's great thing is happy I'm happy it's happy and I'm happy so we greased it up for the third time it's really nice and greased now and we're gonna put it back we might end up painting it like you know just a little nice paint job get a new sticker of the of the um, John Deere sticker here, the HB50. Uh, pretty much, that's about it. And just paint it, and then be really careful when we paint this stuff. I don't think I'll paint. I'll probably stop painting from this end. So just tape it off or put something. Cover all this up. I don't want to paint this, so. Just because it's all the grease there and you know paint could get through here so this will not get painted all this will probably just get painted this would probably get covered this would get covered cover covered all the inside would get covered the back side too probably not just uh, that's about it pretty sure he did a good purchase on that one but like i said we want to weld some stuff here because this is all like overhanged and see what i'm saying like it's just disgusting. All 
All right, guys, welcome back to another video, YouTube people. Um, today, we're heading to start a new project, and as you've seen recently, I greased the breaker, and it's it's in rough shape, just the paint. Um, you know, I'm just trying to make it look good, and, you know, just trying to make it look a little bit better. Uh, so we're going to head and buy all the stuff we need, so we probably just need paint. Uh, probably a sixteen dollars to jar buying a small one primer. We're gonna prime it We're gonna put some primer first and you know some actual paint Or we can just paint it doesn't matter Acetone we need acetone to clean the, the gun and to mix it for when we mix the paint So probably we if I could find it if not we're gonna go to Blaine's farming fleet and do that stuff so um, right now it's Sunday, so just got out of church and went to the store to do all that stuff that we do on Sundays like you guys do. Probably just go grocery shopping, whatever. So decided to make this before tomorrow so we already have stuff and we have already a foot ahead of everything. So tomorrow we're going to be probably just prepping it, cleaning the whole breaker, taping everything, um, cleaning with acetone and then we'll be ready to paint. The next day because it takes believe it or not it takes time i gotta weld some i gotta bend the rebar weld some rebar stick it together and then i'll explain later what i'm gonna do because <clears throat> they're the hoses from the when i connected with with the breaker to the bobcats all over the place the everywhere because it, it happened so so yeah i'm gonna shut up let you guys enjoy all the videos don't forget to like comment subscribe and we'll see you guys in just a little while we'll be open this sunday and they close at 6 and it's around 5.55 they're probably gonna hate me because I came at the last minute babe $2.99 to... yeah come on let's go because people are like they want to go home <laughs> get up babe oh look at this one Meal? Oh, baby, they're expensive though. This one's nice. To, this one's nice to, to to have it at the yard. Hey, I would want to buy this. Hey, to have it at the yard. Come on, let's go. Thirteen thousand. You guys We'll be taking it on the south side. <laughs> Come on, I gotta get the. They, they sound like the Spongebob ones. We gotta come to the... To the... To the paint section, which is... Right on here. Okay, so... We're here at the paint section. We need the farm. This one. Gloss black. And do they have, do they even sell like primer? Like the small one? Okay. We still got some of this. We don't even have, they don't even have primer. They don't have primer. I guess we're not using primer then. Oh yeah, they do, gray primer. They do, they do. Great primer and goss black. Okay, what we need? We need one more thing, babe. One more thing. We need one more thing. Um, they only have a small one. We need one of these. Yeah, we one can. No, we need two of them. Two of these or this, 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 and do we need another one for the primer? No, we don't need one for the primer. I just swap it in with that, right? I'll just take another one just in case. Um. We need acetone. 
All right, here we go. Uh, We're closing in two minutes. Yeah, no, I got everything now. Do we get her? Okay, yeah. Alright, All right. thank you, man. You too. Because I was like, I need to get this project going. You know? Well, I'm glad you got your stuff. Yeah, because tomorrow I don't want to be wasting time. Yeah. Because then coming to the store. Time to get to business. Yeah, there you go. All right, thank you. Right. Have a nice day. You, you too. All right. All right, guys, so we got the stuff. We did actually make it on time. And they closed at around 6 on Sunday, so we just made it just on time. So they literally told us basically in a nice way to get the out of the store. <laughs> we got the primer, the gray primer from Rustoleum Farm, and the black gloss. And we got the, the we got two uh, gallon quarts for the paint, and then we got some uh, little things so when you put it, you know, put it in there. You don't get all dust or no little pebbles in there, so that's good. Uh, we got acetone. I still have a lot left from the accelerator, so we will be able to do all that stuff and mix in properly. I think I could I could put accelerator on the primer. So please leave a comment. I'm gonna look into it too, but please leave a comment if I can do that too, because I don't know. It's my first time. We'll be removing all the stickers. So tomorrow. We're already going to go to the yard and right away start um, um, cleaning it off, clean all the rust off. I got to bend the rebar and I'll show you guys tomorrow. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys in about 10 hours. 15 hours around there, right? 15, 16 hours. So basically in the morning. <laughs> Therefore. <laughs> All right, bye.